Today, for our math strategies, we are going to be talking about rounding, more specifically rounding decimals. In third and fourth grade, you rounded whole numbers, and we're going to kind of build upon that foundation, and we're going to be rounding decimals. Just know that you're going to be using that same place value reasoning you use for whole numbers to help with decimals. So, uh, before we get started with rounding decimals, let's practice rounding whole numbers on an open number line. Okay, so the first number that we're going to round is 783. And today we're going to be rounding 783 to the nearest hundreds. And I like to put it in a place value chart so I can see specifically where I'm rounding to. And I also put a dot above just to help me um, stay organized. So for my open number line, I have to think about my two endpoints. And for in this case, my two endpoints are going to be the two hundreds that 783 is in between. So I know that 783 is in between 700 and 800. Okay. Another important thing I need to do for my open number line is add my midpoint. Okay. And by adding this midpoint, it can tell me if the number is um, closer to 700 or closer to 800. Because I know that if it is less than 750, then it's going to round down. If it's more, if it's exactly 750 or more, I know it's going to round up to 800. So I know that 783 is going to fall about right here on my number line um, because I know that 783 is about 17 away from 800, but is 83 away from 700. So I know that 783 rounds to 800. Now let's try and kick it up a notch here and let's round some decimals. So today, again, I have my place value chart, and I'm going to round 273 thousandths to the nearest tenths. And again, I use my place value chart, and I put my dot at the top just to keep myself organized. So again, I'm going to have my open number line, and I've got to think about my two endpoints. And my two endpoints are going to be um, the tenths place. So I know here it's in between two tenths and three tenths. Okay, so I also need to find my midpoint. And so my midpoint can be a little confusing with decimals. Uh, so I may need to think about these decimals in different terms. So I know my midpoint is going to be 25 hundredths. The only reason I know that is because I know that 2 tenths is equal to 20 hundredths and 3 tenths is equal to 30 hundredths. So that can kind of help me. So I know that 273 is going to fall about in between 25 hundredths and 30 hundredths. And I know that because I can also think about these decimals in different terms. I can think about 2 tenths, 20 hundredths, or 200 thousandths, or 300 thousandths. So, if I think about my numbers in terms of that way, I know that 273 is closest to 3 tenths on my number line. Okay. All right, we're going to do one more here, and this time we have a whole number and decimals involved. Um, let's take a look at our um, word problem we have today. A grocery store charges to the nearest hundredth of a pound for produce. If Landon purchases two and 386 thousandths pounds of tomatoes, what weight did the store charge for? So I'm going to put in my number on my place value chart um, because it just helps organize me just a little bit. And then I also know I'm rounding to the nearest hundredth. So I'm going to put a dot above, again, just to keep me organized. This may sound a little confusing on an open number line because we have that whole number there. But if you're not, we've got this. Okay, so again, I need to find my endpoints. So my endpoints are going to be um, that hundredths place. So I know that 2 and 386 thousandths is in between 2 and 38 hundredths. And I can even go ahead and put it in thousandths if that helps. I can think about that 380. Um, and then I can say 2 and oops, 2 and I need to change my color so we can see it. 
two and 390 thousandths. Okay, so now that I've already kind of thought about it in terms of thousands, I can really easily think about my midpoint here, which should be that 200 or 2 and 385 thousandths. So I know with just one more thousandths here, it's going to be close. So um, I know that it is more than halfway. So I know that 238, I mean, 202 and 386 thousandths will round to 2 and 39 tenths, 39 hundredths or two and 390 thousand.